Assalamu alaikum guys. In this short video, we'll just go over comparing strings with the greater than and less than signs. So I've done a video on comparison operators where I explain how they're used with different data types. And if you've seen the video, you may remember that for comparing two strings, I showed the case for applying the double equal sign and the not equals to sign. However, I didn't get to mention about using the other operators to compare strings. So let's go through some examples. In the case of checking if a string is greater than a string, as an example given here that banana is greater than apple, when I print this condition out to the console, you'll see that we get a value true. Now why is that? Well, it's simply because of an alphabetical comparison applied here, where it starts with comparing the first letters of each string with the criteria that a letter is considered greater if its alphabetical order comes right after the letter being compared to. So here when the operator starts first by comparing B from banana and A from apple, we know that alphabetically B succeeds A in our ABCs. Given that this first condition is true, the rest of the letter comparisons are skipped and we'll get the answer true in the end here. Pretty simple, yes? Basically Python ranks a succeeding letter as being greater than its preceding letter. Looking at this from our first three alphabets, ABC, the first one being A is considered lesser than its successor B. And similarly, B is ranked less than C, and so on. Awesome. Now we can remember how the greater than and less than signs compare strings here quite easily, given that we know our ABCs, well hopefully. <laughs> In the case of Python, however, it compares these strings numerically, given that it's not human like us, of course. Numerically how? Well, in Python terms, a string character has its own ID that Python refers to, known as a Unicode point number which is read in lexicographical order. And to break this jargon down, we can check a character's Unicode number by applying a built-in function on it called ORD, short for ordinal. By printing this out, you can see the Unicode number for the letter A, which is 97. Similarly, if I apply this for the next letters, B and C, you'll see that we get the integers 98 and 99 respectively. So you can get an idea of the background process here when strings are compared to each other. All right. Now, if I were to use another example, checking if the word super is greater than Superman, we can already see a matching word between the two strings, super. And we know when the letters are compared, starting from S all the way to R from both words, will be considered equal. But what will happen after that? Will we get a value true or false? Let's see by printing this out, we get a false. So given that the word super runs out of characters to compare with the rest of those in Superman, the greater than sign in this case then makes a last check, seeing if the word super has more characters than superman, which of course it doesn't. Therefore, superman here is considered greater than super. Awesome. Now if I however use just the letter Z here to see if it's greater than superman, we'll get a value true in the console. And that is of course due to the comparison of the starting letters, Z and S here, where Z comes after S alphabetically, hence it's greater. Nice. So that's really it regarding using these operators between strings. The other versions, greater than or equal to, and the less than or equal to, can also be applied here. Where by printing this out, this condition implies that the letter Z is greater than or equal to the word Superman. And the sign here does two checks. First to see if Z is greater in alphabetical order than S, which of course it is. And then it also checks if the letter Z is equal to S, which it isn't. Since at least one of the criteria are true, our final output will also be true here. Sweet. Similarly, if I used the less than or equal to sign here, this condition will give us a false, since Z is neither less than or equal to the letter S, as implied here. Now one thing to be careful about is when we're comparing upper and lowercase letters or strings. Say if I replaced the word Superman here with the letter Z, the smaller Z, in real life, we might not agree with this condition. Big Z is less than or equal to small Z, as we may judge the letters by size, thinking that Big Z is bigger here. Well, Python sees it differently. When I print this out, we'll get a value true in the console. You may say, whoa, that's weird. And that's because you have to remember that Python compares strings with their Unicode numbers. So here, if I used the ordinal function on both letters and run this program, we'll see that the Unicode number for big Z is 90, and for smaller Z it's 126. So the smaller Z is considered bigger here, in fact probably the biggest amongst all of the string alphabets in either upper or lower case. Awesome. 
And that's all for the video. Just some examples which I felt were important not to miss out after my tutorial on conditions. Hope this one was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, give it a like or a subscribe. And you can check out the next tutorial on logical operators and if-else conditions, which should be interesting. Well, I hope you have an awesome day then. Take care and assalamu alaikum.